What's up everyone? This is eFenix N and this is 5 tips for Skyrim. Tip number 1. Wander around, explore, and have some fun. Some of the best quests in this game are side quests. Quests that you get from talking to random people or going just wandering around exploring for no good reason. A very funny quest from the Daedric Lord Shia Garoth is a tear-jerking romp of ridiculousness. Seriously, this is one of the funniest and funnest quests in the game and you get one of the coolest and funnest weapons in the game, the Wabajack. This quest is found by talking to a crazy blind man in solitude. Another great quest comes from talking to a talking dog outside of Iverstan. Just remember, this game was made to explore, stare at the amazing scenery, and just get off the beaten track, and take in what a game like Skyrim, an open world game, really has to offer. Number two, make sure to use the right armor for the right playstyle. A tank, such as a health dominated Nord class, is great with heavy armor that allows the character to take some major punishment. As a melee based character, this is important because you have to get up close and personal with your the enemy and you're going to take a lot of shots. At the same time, a mage might use light armor, even mage robes, because they are conjuring creatures to take some of the damage and spells work at, the same, at a distance. This is kind of the same concept as it comes to an archery based character. It's really a matter of speed versus protection, which relates directly to whether you are upgrading your health and stamina or more magicka. Alright, tip number three. It is a very, very good idea to become a thane in the big towns or cities before doing other quests. Some quests can get you in trouble with the guards, whether or not you're breaking the law, whether it's a setup or not. Trust me, this is very important. It's very useful to be able to give them the line, hey, do you know who I am? P.S. This is particularly important in the town of Markoth. Plus, owning property is one of the requirements for being a thane. And the things in your home do not disappear with time if they're stored in there. So storing smithing or alchemy supplies is easier since you don't have to carry the weight on your person at all times while you're wandering around the world of Skyrim. Number four. It's a good idea to look into what strengths and weaknesses each race has before setting up your character. For the most successful characters, it is a very good idea to play on their strengths. My character is a Breton, which is a very solid battle mage or mixed tactics character. One-handed weapons and destruction magic is a great combination for my character, who kind of has no major weaknesses but no real major strengths either. On the other hand, a Nord is really a very good tank that decapitates guys with massive two-handed weapons. And a Khajiit is a very, very good at sneaking and is very quick. High Elves, on the other hand, are very, very talented mages. It seems a little tedious and is not really necessary to have a good character, but it can cut down on some possible frustrations in the mid and early levels of the game while your character is still being developed. Alright, tip number five. I have one word. Just one word. Alchemy. Although alchemy is not nearly as useful as smithing when it comes to straight leveling up your character, it does provide you with potions and money, which can be invaluable. Many of us probably never use half the potions we have on our possession. Sell them off, make the money. Also, remember, health potions can be limited, so just make them on your own. While you're wandering the world, just start gathering all the ingredients you see. When you get home, make all the potions you can, sell off the ones you don't need, and keep the health and stamina magic of potions as they relate to your character so that they can help you survive those tough encounters you see. Remember, to know the effects, the first effect anyway, of an ingredient, you must eat it. I know, I understand. Troll fat in giant's toes? They sound a little unappetizing, but you must broaden your taste. Just put a little Tabasco sauce on that bitch, and I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Alright guys, peace out, and thanks for watching.